Good morning friends, I am S. Harigan, Head PG Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Thirchangud. In this video, we are going to discuss about odd and even function which is applicable in Fourier series. So in this video, we are going to cover the following topics like even and odd function, properties of odd and even function, half range question series and half range sign series. Let us see one by one. So, what is meant by even function and odd function? Analytically, f is an even function if its domain contains the point minus x whenever it contains x. That is, f of x equal to f of minus x. That function is said to be even function. f of x equal to minus f of minus x is said to be odd function. Note that f of 0 equal to 0 for an odd function and the examples of even functions are 1 x square cos x modulus x and examples of odd functions are x, x cube, sin x and so on. Arithmetic properties of odd and even function. The sum or difference of two even functions is even. The product or quotient of two even functions is even. The sum or difference of two odd functions is odd. The product or quotient of two odd functions is even. These four properties are arithmetic properties of odd and even functions. Next one, integral properties. If f is an even function, then integral minus l to l, f of x into dx equal to 2 into integral 0 to l, f of x into dx. If f is an odd function, then integral minus l to l, f of x into dx equal to 0. Next one, cosine series. Suppose f and f dash are piecewise continuous on partially closed and open interval minus l comma l and that f is an even periodic function with the period 2l. That is f of x into cos of n pi x divided by l is even and f of x into sin of n pi x divided by l is r. That is a n equal to that is in the cosine series b n term is 0 a naught and a n only available. So, the following it follows that the Fourier series of f is when it is the function is in cosine series f of x equal to a naught divided by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n into cos n pi x divided by l. So, here b n equal to 0. Next one sine series. So, automatically a naught and a n both are 0. We have only b n value that is b n equal to 2 divided by l integral 0 to l f of x into sin n pi x divided by l into dx when n equal to 1 to etc. That that the Fourier series of f is f of x equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n into sin n pi x divided by l here a naught and a n both are 0. So, this is called sin series. Thank you.